Hello and welcome. In this problem, we're finding two binomials that multiply to the polynomial below, and that essentially means we're factoring this thing out. So take a minute, pause the video, try it on your own. Okay, so here, uh, what I'm going to point out, I know 16, uh, this, I know the square root of 16 is just 4. So I'm looking at that right there, I'm like, oh, okay, so 16 is a perfect square. I know the square root of x squared is x, right? x times x is x squared. And I know the square root of 81 is 9. In other words, I notice that everything we're dealing with is a perfect square, which means, and since I see subtraction here, which is the difference, right? That's subtraction. This is literally the difference, literally the difference of two perfect squares. And what does that mean? Well, that means we might know our shortcut. The shortcut for difference of two squares that I use is to recognize that when we factor this thing out, our first term is going to be the square root of the first term here. So the first term in each binomial is the square root of 16x squared. Now, since the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 16x squared is just 4x. And that goes here. It's the first term of each, of each binomial that we're multiplying. Then we need the positive and negative square root of 9, right? So this would be our answer. And what is that? Well, that's choice C. Now, why does this happen? Well, the way I look at this, uh, you can prove it algebraically, but I want to show it in terms of an area model. So show it right here. So suppose we know that we have an area of 16x squared minus 81. What would the side lengths be that give us this area? So to figure this out, I can put 16x squared in one region and negative 81 in the other. And then I notice, okay, to get 16x squared, I've got to multiply 4x by itself. So I'm starting to find these side lengths here. I know I've got to have at least 4x over here, another 4x there. And to get negative 81, I've got to multiply negative 9 by positive 9. I know I've got to multiply the opposites here because I know, and I notice, there is no middle term. Usually you'll see something times x. It's missing. It's not there. We just have x squared and a constant at the end. So to get these two other regions, right, this is negative 9 times 4x is minus 36x, and 9 times 4x is positive 36x. You might, what you might see happening here is that, um, if we look through this model, we have 16x squared. Okay, that matches what we need. These two terms are opposites. There's, there's 0x, which is 0. And then we have negative 81 here. Notice if I simplify this, we don't need 0 times x. That's just 0. This would give us 16x squared minus 81, which is our original uh, binomial that we're looking for. So when we look through this thing right here, we notice we've got to have opposites to cancel out that middle term, this one right here. Right, so opposite factors help us do that. Anyway, so you can see here in the model that the answer still would be 4x minus 9 times 4x plus 9. You could read these area models, the factors you're looking for, actually the side lengths of the area models, which I think is so great. All right, thanks.